Let me start with the basics. We have some water here, 800 grams, and salt, 200 grams. We will add these up in another container. Water is 800 grams. We add salt, 200 grams. Mix. What do we have here? A solution. 1000 grams of solution. The water is the solvent. Salt is the solute. Adding solute to the solvent gives us a solution. We have 800 grams of water in 1000 grams of solution. Water is 80% of the solution. The remaining 20% is salt. 80% water plus 20% salt gives us 100% of the solution. Salt, the solute, is 20% in this example. So, what we have here is 20% salt solution or saline solution. Let us look into a problem now to better understand the concepts. How many liters of 40% alcohol solution should be added to 25 liters of 70% alcohol solution to produce 50% alcohol solution? Please pause the video and give this problem a try. The easiest way to solve such problems is to arrange the given data into a table. Let me show you how. We have three types of solutions here. Solution 1, Solution 2 and Solution 3. For 1, the total quantity is unknown. Let me call this X. What percentage of the solution is alcohol? This is a 40% alcohol solution. This means the quantity of alcohol in solution is 40% of the total solution X. Percent is 1 by 100. So we have 40 by 100 times x liters of alcohol. For solution 2, total quantity is 25 liters. Alcohol is 70% of it. Alcohol in solution 2 is 70 by 100 times 25 liters. We mix solution 1 with solution 2 to get solution 3. So, quantity of solution 3 is x plus 25 liters. We want a 50% alcohol solution. So, alcohol is 50 by 100 times x plus 25. Remember, solution 3 is a mixture of solution 1 and solution 2. So, the alcohol in solution 3 should be equal to the sum of alcohol in solution 1, 40 by 100 times x, and alcohol in solution 2, 70 by 100 times 25. We have an equation here. We need to solve this for x. We start by multiplying both sides with 100. Hundreds in the denominator cancel out. 10 is the common factor on both sides. We get rid of zeros. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 25 is 125. 4x plus 
7 times 25 or 175. Subtracting 4x from both sides. Plus 4x and minus 4x cancel out. We have x plus 125 equal to 175. Subtracting 125 from both sides. We have x equal to 50 liters. We are done. With practice, you should be able to solve a problem like this in around a minute. Can we do better? Maybe. Let me show you another approach. We will start with two salt or saline solutions. We mix one and two to get solution three. The total quantity of solution one is A. The concentration of salt is A percent, lowercase a. This means the quantity of salt is A percent of total quantity, the uppercase A. Percent is 1 by 100. So we have Similarly, for solution 2, total quantity is uppercase B, percentage of salt is lowercase b and the quantity of salt is, we mix 1 and 2 to get a new solution, 3. Total quantity of new solution has to be the sum of total quantity of solution 1, uppercase A, and total quantity of solution 2, uppercase B. It is A plus B. We will assume that the concentration of salt in solution 3 is M percent. The quantity of salt in solution 3 will be M percent of A plus B. Solution 3 is a mix of solution 1 and solution 2. This means salt in solution 3 has to be the sum of salt in solution 1 and salt in solution 2. We have an equation here. Hundreds in the denominator cancel out. So we have dividing both sides by sum of A and B. We cancel out the common factors and we have M. The concentration of salt in solution 3 is equal to a A plus B B divided by A plus B, an important formula. We started with our initial equation, simplified it and got a formula. There is another way to proceed. We have M times A plus M times B equal to A A plus B B. Next, we divide both sides by uppercase B, total quantity of solution 2. Cancelling the common factors, we have rearranging the terms. Factoring left hand side, we pull out the common term A by B. Finally, the ratio of total quantity of solution 1, uppercase A, to total quantity of solution 2, uppercase B, is 
we have one more formula. Most people recommend this formula. I have a different opinion. This formula is difficult to remember and you are more likely to make mistakes. Let me drop this. This should be our choice. Why? Before I explain, let me clean up and create some space. This formula is definitely more intuitive. Look carefully. M is the percentage of salt in the mixture. It should be salt in the mixture divided by total quantity of the mixture. Solution 3. The numerator on the right hand side is the salt in solution 1 A times A plus salt quantity in solution 2 B times P. Denominator is the total quantity of solution 1 uppercase A plus total quantity of solution 2 uppercase B. It aligns pretty well. Salt in the mixture equals sum of salts in all the mixed solutions. Total quantity of mixture equals the sum of quantities of mixed solutions 1 and 2. Quite logical and easy to remember. We can also extend this formula for a mixture of more than two solutions. If we mix three solutions, 1, 2 and 3. To get a fourth solution, the percentage of salt in the mix will be simply A times A plus B times B plus C times C divided by A plus B plus C. Let's now go back to the earlier problem and see if this formula works. How many liters of 40% alcohol solution should be added to 25 liters of 70% alcohol solution to produce 50% alcohol solution? Pause the video and give this problem a try. Use the formula this time. This is our first solution. Here is the second solution. We mix them to get the third solution. The percentage of alcohol in the mix is For solution 1, the total quantity, uppercase A, is not known to us. We have to find it. Percentage of alcohol, lowercase a, is 40%. For solution 2, total quantity, Uppercase B is 25 liters. Percentage of alcohol, lowercase b, is 70%. Concentration of alcohol in the mix, M, is 50%. We know all the variables except one. We are good to go. 50 equals 40A plus 70 times 25 divided by A plus 25. Multiplying both sides by A plus 25. We get 10 is the common factor on both sides. Cancelling out the zeros, we have 5A plus 125 equal to 4A plus 175. Rearranging terms, and A is equal to 50 liters. We need 50 liters of solution 1, the 40% alcohol solution. We are done. The formula works. Let's try one more problem. We have 50 kilograms of 15% saline solution. How many kilograms of water should we add to this solution to make a 10% saline solution? I suggest you pause the video 
and give this problem a try. We will first solve this problem using the detailed tabular approach and later using the formula. Here is our first solution. Total quantity is 50 kgs. Salt is 15%. So, quantity of salt is 15 by 100 times 50. Solution 2 is pure water. Water alone is not really a solution. Still, we can call it a 0% solution. The quantity is unknown. Let me call it X. Salt is 0%. So, quantity of salt in solution 2 is also 0. The total quantity of 3 is the quantity of solution 1 plus quantity of solution 2. We want solution 3 to be 10% saline. So, the quantity of salt is 10% of 50 plus x. The salt in solution 3 comes from solution 1 and solution 2. So, this has to be equal to the salt in solution 1, 15% of 50 plus salt in solution 2, 0. We get rid of the hundreds in the denominator, common factor on both sides. We have 10 is the common factor on both sides. 50 plus x is 75. Therefore, x is 75 minus 50 or 25 kgs. We need to add 25 kgs of water to solution 1 to get 10% saline solution. We will now move to the formula. M. Percentage of salt in mixture is 10%. For solution 1, salt concentration lower case A is 15%. Upper case A, the total quantity is 50 kgs. Solution 2 is pure water. Salt concentration is 0%. Total quantity, upper case B is unknown. This is same as x. Our unknown in the previous approach. We have 10%. This equation is same as the one we got with our first approach. Obviously, the answer is same too. We are done. You can pick whichever approach you like. The key is to understand the concepts. Let me now introduce you to another flavor of mixture problems. We have 50 kilograms of 15% saline solution. How many kilograms of water should we remove from the solution to make a 20% saline solution? This is slightly different from our earlier problem. Please pause the video and give it a try. Alright, we have solution 1. 50 kgs of 15% saline solution. Total quantity of 1 is 50 kgs. Salt is 15% or quantity of salt is 15 by 100 times 50 kgs. Solution 2 is water, 0% solution. We are not adding it to the solution 1. 
but removing it. Don't worry. It is actually quite simple. A removal is simply the negative of addition. We will solve this problem as if we are adding water. No change in our approach. Things will become clearer as we proceed. For two, we don't know the quantity of water to be removed. Let us call it x. Percentage of salt is zero. So quantity of salt is also zero. For the mix, solution three, total quantity will be 50 plus x. Salt has to be 20% of the solution. So quantity of salt is 20 by 100 times 50 plus x. Salt in solution 3 comes from solution 1 and solution 2. So this has to be equal to 15% of 50 plus 0. Cancelling hundreds on both sides. 20 times 50 plus x equals 15 times 50. 10 is the common factor on both sides. We get rid of zeros. Two x is seventy five minus hundred or minus twenty five. Dividing both sides by two, we get x equal to minus twelve point five kgs. We are adding minus twelve point five kgs of water to the solution. This means we are removing twelve point five kgs from the solution. Negative sign indicates removal here. I hope that it is clear to you now. Now let's use the formula. M is 20. We want a 20% saline solution. Lowercase a, salt concentration in solution 1 is 15%. Quantity of solution 1, the uppercase A is 50. For solution 2, salt concentration is 0. It is pure water. Quantity of 2, the uppercase B is unknown. We will again call it X to align with the previous solution. We have This equation is same as the one we got with our first approach and as expected solving this gives us x equal to minus 12.5 kgs same as before. We have to remove 12.5 kgs of water from solution 1. We are done. Let us try one more problem, slightly more challenging than this one. Rob has 50 kilograms of 15% saline solution. How many kilograms of this solution should he replace with 30% saline solution to get 50 kilograms of 20% saline solution? This is an interesting problem. Please pause the video and give it a try. All right, this is our first solution. Total quantity is 50 kilograms. Percentage of salt is 15%. But we replace a part of solution 1 with solution 2. If the quantity of solution 2 is x kilograms, we are left with 50 minus x kgs of solution 1. Percentage of salt in solution 2 is 30 percent. The new mixture is solution 3. The quantity is the sum of solution 1 and solution 2. 50 minus x plus x is 50. We want this to be 20 percent salt. Quantity of salt in solution 1 is 15 by 100 
times 50 minus x. For 2, it is 30 by 100 times x. For solution 3, it will be 20 by 100 times 50. Salt in solution 3 comes from salt in solution 1 and salt in solution 2. So, this quantity equals salt in solution 1 plus salt in solution 2. We cancel the hundreds out. 5 is also a common factor. 5 fours are 20. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 6 is 30. We have x equal to 50 by 3 or approximately 16.67 kgs. We will try the formula now. M percentage of salt in the mixture is 20 percent. Lowercase a Percentage of salt in solution 1 is 15%. Quantity of solution 1, uppercase A, in the mix will be 50 kgs. The initial quantity minus the quantity replaced by solution 2, uppercase B. B is unknown. Let us call it X again. Quantity of solution 1 in the mixture is 50 minus x. Percentage of salt in solution 2 is 30%. Quantity is x. In the denominator, we can replace A with 50 minus x and B with x. Minus x plus x cancel out. We have Solving further, we have x equal to 50 by 3 or approximately equal to 16.67 kilograms. We got the same result. We have to replace 16.67 kgs of 15% solution with the same quantity of 30% solution to get 20% saline solution. We are done. Let's try another variant of the mixture problem, a new flavor and definitely more challenging. You have 150 liters of water in a container. Replace 15 liters of the contents with 15 liters of alcohol. After repeating this process for a total of three times, how much water is left in the container? Do give it a try before you look at the solution. The initial total quantity of our solution is 150 liters. It is all water. So we have 150 liters of pure water with 0 liters of alcohol. Next, we replace 15 liters of water with 15 liters of alcohol. We repeat this three times. After the first time, total quantity is still 150 liters. It has 15 liters of alcohol. Water is 150 minus 15 or 135 liters. Quite simple. When we repeat the process again for a second time, the total is still 150 liters. How much water do we have now? It is definitely less than 135 liters. But how much less? After first iteration, total quantity of the solution is 150 liters. It has 135 liters of water. For every 150 liters of solution, we have 135 liters of water in it. Going by this logic, when we remove 15 liters of solution, 
the water removed is 135 by 150 times 15. 15 ones are 15, 15 tens are 150. We have 135 minus 13.5 or 121.5 liters. Alcohol is obviously 150 liters total quantity of solution minus 121.5 water quantity. We have 28.5 liters. Let us repeat the process the third time. Total quantity is still 150 liters. Water in the mix will be 121.5 liters, the water left after second iteration, minus the water removed. It is the fraction of water in 15 liters that is removed, which will be 121.5 by 150 times 15 liters. 15 ones are 15. 15 tens are 150. Solving further, we have 109.35 liters. The remaining water in the solution is 109.35 liters. We can find the quantity of alcohol too. It will be 150 liters total quantity of solution minus 109.35 quantity of water. We have 40.65 liters. We solved the problem, but this was time consuming. A formula would have made things faster and easier. Let's see if we can derive a formula. We will start with a general statement. You have A liters of water in a container. Replace B liters of the contents with B liters of alcohol. After repeating this process for a total of n times, how much water is left in the container? Let's get started. Initially, we have A liters of solution. All of this is water with zero alcohol. During first iteration, we remove B liters of water. So remaining water is A minus B. Replace this with alcohol, B liters. A minus B plus B is A. Total is still A. After second iteration, the total quantity of solution is still A as we are simply replacing a part of the solution with alcohol. How much water we have in the solution? We had A minus B after the first iteration. Now, if we remove B liters of solution, a part of it is water. We have to find the quantity of water removed and subtract it from A minus B. After iteration 1, we have a minus B liters of water in A liters of solution. So, in B liters of solution, water will be A minus B by A times B. A minus B is the common factor in both terms. We pull this out and we have or we can factorize further by writing A minus B as a times, in brackets, 1 minus B by A. And we have A times 1 minus B by A raised to the power 2. To conserve space, I will remove the detailed calculations and leave only the final value here. The quantity of alcohol is simply the total quantity A minus the quantity of water. Let us now move to the third iteration. Total quantity is still A. The quantity of water is the water left after second iteration minus 
the water removed, which is the fraction of water in solution after second iteration times P. Cancelling out the common factor A, we have we can further factor A minus B and we have finally A times 1 minus B by A raised to the power 3. To save space, As before, alcohol is the total quantity of the solution minus the quantity of water. We clearly see a pattern here for iteration 2 and 3. We can also bring the quantity of water after iteration 1 to the same format by simply pulling out the common factor A to get A times 1 minus B by A. Let us raise this to the power 1. The value is still the same. A little bit of cleanup again. Let me replace B alcohol in the solution with this expression is equal to A minus A plus B. A minus A is 0. We cancel them out and we are left with B. It works. Some more clean up and we have. So what happens after n iterations? Easy. Just follow the pattern. Total quantity of solution is A. Constant. It never changes. Water after n iterations is a times 1 minus b by a raised to the power n. The quantity of alcohol is total quantity of solution minus the quantity of water. This is our primary formula. We will go back to our problem and see if we can solve it with this formula. You have 150 liters of water in a container. Replace 15 liters of the contents with 15 liters of alcohol. After repeating this process for a total of three times, how much water is left in the container? Do give it a try before you look at the solution. Use the formula this time. So, here is our formula, the water left in the solution after n iterations. The initial total quantity of our solution is 150 liters. This is A. B, the quantity of solution replaced each time is 15 liters. We repeat the process three times. So, n is 3. Let's plug the numbers into the formula. A is 150 times 1 minus B is 15 liters. Divided by A, 150 liters, raised to the power 3. Simplifying, 15 ones are 15, 15 tens are 150, we have Or 150 times 0 0.9 raised to the power 3. Solving further, we have 109.35 liters water left in the solution. This is same as what we got before. The formula works.